Hey, what's up everyone? I thought it might be helpful to create some video tutorials about scripting in ArcGIS using Python and ArcPy. Uh, I know when I was trying to learn some of this stuff a few years ago, it was difficult to find resources online about ArcPy and ArcGIS with Python. There's plenty of stuff just on Python, but specifically ArcGIS, there wasn't as much content out there, so especially videos, the videos I found and even today, the videos are like 10 plus, like, I don't know, 5 or 10 years old, and they're just like videos of professors lecturing, and it's not very interactive. So I thought I would just make a tutorial series where you actually see some of the stuff being done, you see some of the scripts being created and what they do, and then you can just follow along on your computer, hopefully, um, and actually learn how to do some of this stuff. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so first... I guess I'll explain why why would you want to script something instead of just running the tool here or or using model builder you might have used that um, scripting just it allows for even more customization with the tools that you or the scripts that you create um, so just to give a quick example of why scripting might be a little bit more useful say we wanted to go through every one of these points in this shape file it's just one shape file here and say we wanted to do some some process to that, some run some tools. So we'll say buffer. Say we wanted to buffer these tool these points by 50 meters. If you wanted to do this individually here, you would have to select each individual point and then run the tool. That would take a long time. Uh, with scripting, you would just be able to for loop it. Just say which points, uh, what file you wanted to uh, loop through, and it would create these buffers for you. Uh, that might not have been the best example, but it's kind of hard to explain without actually doing something. So I figured we'd just get started and get some data. So the data that I have here, it's just a shape, two shape files. It's a shape file of all these world cities. I think they're just, they're not every single city. It's just points of interest. So I guess cities that have a certain population. And then I just have a, an outline of the world just so we can do some clipping maybe in the future. But I got that data from... Uh, what's the website? Natural Earth Data. So if you just Google Natural Earth oops, Earth Data, you'll be able to get all this cool data for free. Um, Alright, so I would download from this large scale data right here, and it's in cultural. Okay, so download this countries, that's the country file. So download that. And then you want to download populated places. Okay, so while those are downloading, I'll just show you kind of the file structure that I'm going to be working with, how I have things set up. All right. So I'll just put everything in a folder in here. It's called tutorials. And I just have a folder for data, which is where I'm going to extract this stuff to. And then a folder for scripts, where I'm going to eventually put some scripts. Actually, let's add another folder called Outputs. Alright. Alright, so now these are done downloading. We're just going to extract them. I'm going to just browse to that place. It's already here. Okay, so right there. Just extract it somewhere that you, you know where they are. Alright, so that one's there. And we'll extract the new one, or this one. Same place. Alright, so now we have the data. I'm just going to close out. Of this was data saved elsewhere. I'm just going to pull in the stuff that I just downloaded. I was going to use OSM data, but it was kind of... I, I was looking at it. It was kind of hard to download specific areas, and the attribution was pretty poor. So I just... This stuff looks pretty good. GIS. Alright, so here's what I... So I suggest you guys just connect to some directory and then make a new folder, call it whatever you want, and just kind of make it look like this, just so you can follow along. If you have your own data, that's fine to use. I just wanted to get some data for everyone so we could follow along. Okay, so I'll just drag it in. It should look exactly the same. Alright, so once you're at this step, you're ready to move forward 
and we'll start actually scripting. All right, see you in the next tutorial.